Hello, lovelies. Good morning. Welcome to our Alpaca Yarn Company trunk show. Welcome. Check out all the pretty pretties from our friends Beth and Tasha up at Alpaca Yarn Company. I know some of you did see our interview and tour that we did with Beth at her alpaca farm and at, at the warehouse in York for Alpaca Yarn Company. So all the yarns we have here are all hand dyed in York PA, which makes them local to us. And we're gonna start talking about them. And we have like a bunch of really nice samples as well on the website. We also will have pattern suggestions and links to these patterns along with the code AYC Lovely for you to use on Ravelry to get free pattern from Alpaca Yarn Company during the show, while the trunk show is up, which is the whole month of September. So starting with these beauties here, this is a spiral and this is a worsted weight yarn. It is 100% alpaca. It is a marl and the striping action in this is very random, which is intentional. As Beth says, uh, the idea with this yarn is to embrace the chaos. No one skein is exactly alike and that only lends to its beauty. We do have enough of this here in stock for you to make a sweater. So we do have sweater quantity of each of these colorways. These are all the solids. And then multis and the natural undyed versions of these are on their way to us from Alpaca Yarn Company. And we will post pictures of those on our site. And we might do a supplemental video to show you the extras when they come, when they come here to our store. Looking at the details here, so this colorway is pistachio cream. You see it's a needle suggestion of a size eight and you would get approximately five stitches per inch. And in this 100 gram, three and a half ounce hank, you get 165 yards. So, and she even says it's a random moral worsted weight. So, and the colorways are, we have this really pretty red, which is black forest. And then next to Black Forest, the orangey tone, sort of like a rust. This is Birch Beer. And isn't it pretty? It is crazy soft. Crazy, crazy soft. Let's get a closer look. Look at that. This is Black Forest. It's like Black Forest cake, you know, the chocolate cake with the cherries at the bottom. Yum scrum. And then next to Birch Beer, we have Peach Melba. And then this one here is butterscotch. And you can find all these and more on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash AYC for the trunk show. This is again, pistachio cream. Look at that pretty pale green, just like pistachios. Look how nicely the colors work over the different shades of alpaca, so pretty. And then next to pistachio cream is a mint chip. So a little bluer than the pistachio. So the pistachio is slightly yellower green than the mint. And then moving over, we have key lime. And you can even see the hanks on the wall, how different they are from one another, even in the same colorway. This one's key lime. And then next to key lime, we've got blue curacao which is the same color as the sweater sample here. So this is the same yarn. So then below blue curacao, we have blueberry buckle, which is a little more violet. Look how soft, I mean like it even looks soft. This is just scrumptious. And then next to blueberry buckle, we have boysenberry jam. So pretty. And then next to boysenberry jam, we have plum pudding. And then finally, we have the bright pink, this pink lemonade. Look at it, look how shiny and lustrous that is. And this is so soft. Once you touch this, you won't wanna to touch anything else. It is ridiculous. So then moving, so that's all the spiral. So this is all the worsted weight. The rest of the yarns we're looking at today, so we've got pack a pet this section here, this is pack of heads. These that have this really cool contrasting stripe, that's the pack of heads HT. So it would be, here's the pack of head. So this is a full skein, 100 grams 
about 400 yards. This has got 440 yards. And this is um, an alpaca wool nylon blend, great for socks. And because it's great for socks, the HT includes a mini skein and a contrasting color for heels and toes. And that's what the HT stands for. So, and those are, so these are the pack of head colorways we have here in stock. And she's got so many colorways of this. I just picked my favorites to have here at the shop. If there are particular colors that you are looking for in this base, we can always special order for you at the trunk show price. And then on the shelf above, we have the same pack of head base yarn in mini skein packs. And these packs are all potluck colorways. So these are non-repeatable, although they are similar to her regular colorways, they are different enough that they can't be grouped in the same dye lots. So in these kits make these super awesome forget not mitts. And I have made a pair myself and I absolutely love them. And I keep meaning to bring them in as a sample for the show, but uh, forgetting them at home. But the colorways on these are so pretty. So these are the forget not mitts. And don't worry, we'll look more in depth at all these colors. And then also in the pack of head base, we have the half mad mini skein packs. So these include five mini skeins. And then below we have the mini madness packs and each of these includes 10 mini skeins. So that's the difference. Uh, also on this wall, we have the Halo watercolors, which is the hand-dyed Surrey alpaca, kindred spirits here, and then the always popular Marikita, which is a gorgeous, crazy soft alpaca tensile blend. And the kindred spirits is a combo of one skein of Marikita, two skeins of the Halo. But let's get back to these pack of peds. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the sock yarn. So, and the pack of peds, the fiber content here that we're looking at is 20% super fine alpaca, 65% super wash wool, and 15% nylon. Again, each 100 gram, three and a half ounce hank gives you 440 yards. So, and we have a variety of colorways. The regular peds, not the HT. So we've got Flamenco, which is this one. And I did not grab an HT version of Flamenco. So this is Flamenco, it's like shades of red, a little bit of blue, really gorgeous. And I've got three of each of these in stock. And then we also have Wine Country, which is purplier, <laughs> a little bit of blue for the sky. But isn't that lovely? Sort of like a pretty Beaujolais color. A little bit of orange for some sunset. We've got three of wine country. We also have three of mucha. And this is a tan base with some speckling and red and blue and a little bit of green. This is mucha. We've got three of these. And we also have Everglades. We've got three of these. And this is really soft. This stuff, it comes out so pretty and makes really nice socks too. And then we also have Nudibrank and we've got three of these. And this is like a variegated with a little bit of orange speckle. So these are the five colorways that I do not have a corresponding heel toe version. Those colorways with a heel toe version uh, begin over here. So this is Wood Nymph, one of my faves. This is like blue and violet, sort of like some figgy browns. And then above Wood Nymph, this is Wood Nymph with the heel toe in orange. So I've got one each of the heel toe and then I've got two of the regular peds. The regular peds are $24 a hank. The heel toe are 28. The Espiral, these are $24 a hank. And again, all this can be found at lovelyarns.com forward slash A Y C. This colorway is called Dance Magic, definitely a fan fave. And I already had somebody come in and she had to have it, so we sold it to her. So we've got one left. 
but rest assured we can always get more from Beth if you decide you need to have a sweater quantity or you want to gift them to all of your friends we can certainly make that happen for you not a problem and this is all like really beautiful shades of pink and blues and purples and then the HT has this awesome lime green stripe to go with as contrast look how perfect that is what a great contrast to all that pink I love it and then next to Dance Magic, we have Stardust, which is here. This is Stardust. And it's like really beautiful, deep teal, midnight blue, midnight violet. And the Stardust heel toe has a silver contrast. So it looks very like outer space. Like when you think about all those pretty coffee table books that have pictures of galaxies. It sort of looks like that. Really lovely. And then next to Stardust, we've got Clockwork Pumpkin. I love this. And this is perfect for fall, which finally our weather has broken a little bit. It's a little bit cooler out. It's gotten below 85 degrees. And this is a variegated pumpkin-y orange and it's got like a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, and oh, it's just stunning. And this is all really soft, makes great, great socks. And then the contrast in the heel toe of the Clockwork Pumpkin is sort of like this icy minty green, like dried corn husk green, I suppose. There we go. Makes a really nice contrast. And then lastly, we have Wonderland, which is shades of blue and green, a little bit of yellow, maybe a hint of pink, a hint of purple. So this is Wonderland. And then Wonderland in this, with the heel toe has this awesome magenta for the complimentary color stripe. And then the last bit of pack up heads we have. So this grouping here, these are all different speckly colorways. So we've got this blue, like this tealy blue is Tide Pool. And then the Tide Pool HT has a Caribbean blue complementary stripe. So it's like a white base with aqua and hot pink and brown speckle on it. And then next to Tide Pool, we have Mojave, like the desert. <laughs> And this is uh, like a denim blue with some rusty browns, uh, very evocative of a desert. And the contrasting stripe is like a deep navy. So it just pulls out the same blue dye that's in the speckle. And then next to Mojave, we have Material Girl, which of course embraces the hot pink, which we love. So it's got hot pink and bright yellow and a little blue, some green. So it's sort of like a little bit of everything, but mostly it's overtones of hot pink. So it reads more as like a hot pink colorway. And then of course, the heel toe stripe is that luscious, luscious hot pink, like 80s pink. And next to Material Girl, we have Persephone. And this is uh, purples with some golden yellow and a little bit of earthy browns. And Persephone comes with a complimentary heel toe and her compliment color is that violet, like a true violet, look at that. So pretty against those speckles. It's a really nice contrast. And then last of the Packaped pack full skeins, we have this bright baby here. This one is Electric Sheep. And this has got Neon teal, highlighter yellow, hot orange. I love hot orange. Some hot pink is in here as well. And then the contrast is this hot aqua. This bright turquoisey blue. Loving it. Okay. And then for the forget not mitts. So this is like a faux argyle. True argyle is done with intarsia. This is a stranding pattern. So it's not scary. So don't be scared. It is very doable. I really enjoyed making these myself. And you know, I always love a corrugated rib is so pretty. And there is probably enough yarn in these 
to make two pair of these mitts, I think, or at least one pair for very big hands. So you've got two skeins of the same solid colorway and then a contrasting multi to do for the, um, what in the picture is like yellow and blue and the blue is the variegated. So the variegated in the middle would be your contrasting color and then two hanks of the main color. So you've got plenty of yardage. I know on mine, I had plenty of yarn left. I could have made a second pair. So this was like aqua with some variegated in the middle. Um, and then we have like this rusty brown. So this sort of like a rusty tone with a variegated violet. That's a really nice complimentary colorway. And then we've got this olive green with the multi, sort of like plummy. Oh, I like this olivey green. That's really, really nice. And then there's the aqua. So I guess, I think I have it labeled as this is turquoise on the website. So this would be the turquoise. And then we've got the rust, olive. This is aqua, cause this is a little, see it's bluer, it's blue. This is bluer. This one is greener. Um, you know, the lighting in here is not always great, but this is uh, like a, this is like a light aqua. And then there's like a variegated plum to go with it as a contrast. And then actually there's two of these sort of like cyan blue with the, um, it looks like a, painted deserty sort of variegated in the middle these two are actually very much the same so I said that we have two of them because I thought they looked pretty identical uh, and then also there is a denim blue with a multi um, and we've got violet so see this other one is more like a it's like a dark blue violet, I think is what we called it. Dark blue violet, and this is violet violet. And, oh, we've got this really pretty burnt orange. Oh, so this must be the rust, and then the other one is like, this is brick. Look at that. I mean, it's definitely a brighter than the other orange, but I love it with this contrast. And then lastly, we have um, the sunny yellow with a variegated blue. So it's a little brighter than the yellow on the photo, sort of more like a pale banana, I suppose. So that's the kits. And then for the half mad kits, well, first, I guess let's look at the mini madness, these 10 skeiners. So this one is pop beads flamingo and it's like shades of brown with flamingo-y corally pink because you know flamingos are not like pink pink they're sort of like coral pink because they eat the shrimp these are shrimp that they eat make them turn pink and then this one is modern times <laughs> this kid's falling off of the shelf because i just sort of shoved them up there this one is sticks and stones so all your neutral tones and then we've got the pop beads peacock so some really pretty like purples, peacocky blue. Think of like peacock tail feathers, sort of those colors. And then we have Victorian times. This is really pretty. Oh, I love that green at the bottom. Isn't that nice? And then next to Victorian times, we have Baba Yaga. And then lastly, we've got Viva Las Vegas. All your fun, bright day glow colors. Love it. So if you're a big fan of bright rainbows, this is a mini pack for you. And then in the half mad packs, we have um, a half Victoria. So this one's just called Victoria. So five skeins from Victorian times. This one is tail feathers. So it's half of your peacock. And then we've got glow stick, which is some of the bright colors from the Viva Las Vegas. And we have the Half Mad Happy Trails. So it's five um, like hiking, like good outdoorsy hiking colorways. So, and that's all the pack a ped yarn that we have. And now moving over, oh, and I should say, so the Half Mad packs, you get five mini skeins for a total of 550 yards. So each mini has 110 yards. The 10 pack of minis, the mini madness, you get 1100 yards because 10 times 110. So, and then the pop beads, we do, Beth made a sample of the pop beads shawl and we do have a link to this pattern on our website. 
lovelyorange.com forward slash AYC. So next let's get to this Marikita, which always a fan fave here at the shop. Uh, Marikita is hand dyed fingering weight yarn. You get, it's 50% baby alpaca, 50% Tencel. Tencel is, um, it's a plant-based fiber. It comes from scrub trees and it behaves very much like bamboo. So it's real soft and the colors are a little more muted on the Tencel than they are like on the pure um, animal base fiber. Cause see on the halo, like how bright it is. So for instance, like this is the hibiscus colorway on the Tencel, on the Marikita, and look how much more vibrant it is on a halo, but it makes such a great combo. Look how pretty that is. Same colorway, different fiber. So yarn bases make a big difference. Look how shiny. It's very soft, but all of this stuff is crazy soft, I should say. So, and then on the Marikita, you also get 400 yards. So this is great for like beaded lace projects, garments. It's gonna have lots of drape. I do not recommend the Marikita for socks because I don't know that it's gonna have enough elasticity to stay up on your leg. And I feel like it's a little more luxury. Like, I, don't know, I mean, I guess you can make like at-home socks, but it would not be my first go-to for socks. Definitely great for garments and shawls though. So, and the Marikita comes in a whole huge rainbow of colors starting here with candy apple and we've got peach blossoms hibiscus serengeti um this is a one of a kind colorway she's got a bunch of potluck colorways here um and we have photos of each of these on the site um this one is copper pot and then we've got these are two different potluck shades one is slightly darker than the other but they are nearly identical. I think the difference um, is probably easier to tell in real life than it is on the camera. But I think you can, one of them is a little bit darker. It's got more of the darker tones than the other, but it's so pretty. I love this. Um, and then here it is like mostly brown, which we're calling fig. It's just gorgeous. So this is potluck. So, you know, there's one of a kind colorways when you're going for a uh, stock color, but doesn't come out quite exactly how you want it to. This one is Arctic Berry. And it's like pinks with violets, really pretty. And then we have this other potluck colorway, which is sort of like ballet pink with a little bit of um, peachy tone and a little bit of violet. And I love it. It is similar to these, but it is, you can tell is a bit different. And then on the row below, we've got spring peepers, which is this pale icy green. And then next to spring peepers, we have another potluck colorway of like this ice blue, which I think we're calling ice. <laughs> Very creatively, we've described it as ice. This one is Calypso or Atlantis. And Atlantis is, I think, one of her most popular colorways, full stop. I mean, look at it. It's aqua, it's pink, it's orange. I love this. So, and this is the Atlantis and the Kindred Spirit. So with its fellow halo. And then next to Atlantis, we have the darker green. This is Rainforest which on the camera, it looks more blue, but I assure you it is definitely green. And I think when you look at it online, it will look green, which it should. And then this bright blue, like these different shades of blue, this is Kitty Pool. And then next to Kitty Pool, we have Carnival. This is like blue, red, yellow. Perfect, you could get Carnival and then do like sort of a state fair inspired piece, perhaps. But it's so great. I love Car Carnival in Atlantis. Uh, I guess Carnival Atlantis. And then there's Nebula, which is down here. Oh, that's more Arctic Berry. Nebula and Hibiscus, I think are, I think these four, there we go. These four plus the Serengeti. So these five, these five colorways are probably the most popular. At least they've been the most popular when we've had them here at our shop in the past. I love all of them. Like, <laughs> 
if you want to get me a gift. No, just kidding. And then next to Carnival, we have this really pretty dark denim blue, and this is blue suede shoes. And next to blue suede shoes, we have this deep violet, which is bewitched. It's sort of like violet with a dark gray. So it makes a really nice witchy mood. Perfect again for this time of year. And then on the row below, we have Fairy Godmother, which is this lovely bubblegummy pink. And again, we can take another closer look at Nebula. Look at that. See, it's everything, you guys. It is everything. It's purple, it's pink, it's got some aqua in it, a little bit of moody brown, some orange, like, it's everything. And we've also got Crocus, which is shades of lavender, or I suppose shades of crocus. So pretty. So it's like blue violet with a little bit of red violet, a little bit of gray to make some parts a little darker, moodier. Just love this. And then we've got two different shades of gray. We've got the pale one, which is platinum. And then the slightly darker one, which is carbonite. And that's all the Marikita. And then I wanna do, okay. And then some of these colorways we've looked at in the Marikita, let's do the halo and then we'll get the kindred spirits last. The Halo, of course, is the brush Surrey Alpaca. And we've got some really pretty samples. So this is a really cool lace hoodie made entirely out of Halo. This is in the hibiscus colorway. So look at that, isn't that cool? So yeah, here's the, here's the hood on the back. And we do have a link to this pattern on our website. And look how pretty that color is. And it's just so light and airy and it just it really shows off the lace and i think also it's a nice demonstration of even though this is a slightly variegated colorway you can see the lace it does the patterning does not get lost marikita skeins these are 26 dollars each the half mad packs are 32 and the mini madness packs are 52. the halo skeins are only 16 dollars a hank what? That's right. Just 16 bucks a hank, friends. That is it. So, and these are 78% brushed Surrey alpaca with 22% nylon. They are 25 grams each and you get 257 yards. And they are just lovely. This colorway in my hand is called Abstract. And then next to Abstract, we have the Hibiscus again <laughs> and there it goes falling to the floor but we have the hibiscus and then we also have serengeti and we have nouveau which is more vi more purple than nebula but it's very similar and then this is a potluck sort of like a rusty color and then we've got Vintage Pop, which is like this bright red. So like this fiery red, which I really like a lot. And it's got a little bit of black in, which is pretty cool. And then moving down a row, we've got this pale, pale truffle here. And then next to truffle, we have Degas. Some of these are artist inspired names. And Degas is like truffle with a little bit of brown added to it. It's really lovely. And then next to the Degas, we have this potluck colorway, which is sort of like a sagey green, like a dusty green, with a little bit of brown. And then we also have Seascape, which is more aqua than this sage. And it's got some of this real pretty ruddy brown. And then we've got Da Vinci which is blues and greens. Look how pretty that is. And then next to Da Vinci, we have mosaic. Look at that. I love this bright blue. So this is like bright blue with uh, little bits of tealy green and some icy whites. <clears throat> and then on the row below, 
starting over here with this pretty plummy color. This one is Kalo, like Frida Kalo or Frida Kahlo. So it's like shades of red violet with some pink. And then next to the Kalo, we have Nebula. So here's it. So here's Nebula on the Halo. And this is Nebula in the Marikita. Isn't that wild? That is the same colorway. I think it's so wild how it comes out so different. Like it's so much darker on the halo. <clears throat> and then next to the Nebula we've Carnival. Also very different on the halo from the Marikita because here it is together. Look, same, same colorway, different bases. I know, isn't this a fun game? Same colorway, different bases. I always think it's so interesting. So, and then this pretty blue, this is Picasso, clearly inspired by his blue period, which I think he said, oh, I just happen to have a lot of blue paint. <laughs> so, and this is just really delightfully soft. And then these are some one of a kind colorways. So there's like a range of different potlucks. So see this one's got is darker. It's got more navy in it, more of a denim. So this one we are describing as evening woods. And then next to it, this one's more aqua. And this one we're describing as a mossy pool. And then these two are more like a jungle green. So they're the same. So they're being described on our website as jungle. So it'll say potluck and then in parentheses, our description of it. And then um, lastly, on this hook, we've got Muddy Water, which is, you know, like the sagey green, but kind of like, you know, sort of like when you look down into a to muddy pond, sort of that color. And it's got like a little bit of these violets. And then we have another grouping of potluck colorways, more greens, like the greens are really pretty. And I just, I love that. <laughs> and boy, wouldn't that make like a nice fade? Like you could do, you do one of these hoodies out of these together and have it kind of like fade down. Wow, that would be really, really pretty. So this here, I guess these two are the same and these we are describing as spring green. So spring green. And it's like a leafy green with like shades of yellow, a little bit of blue, but it's certainly paler than the one in the middle here, which is lime, like kefir, like I have a lime tree at home and this is sort of the color of the leaves. So it's sort of like dark green plus this bright yellowy green. It's a really pretty lime colorway. And then lastly, we've got these two greeny blues and these we are describing as a forest. And so that is all of the halo. And then, so we'll give one last look at the halo. If you have questions, you can always send us an email at lovelyarns at gmail.com, or you can ask us in the comments section below. And then over here in the middle, these are the kindred spirit braids. So the kindred spirits are a skein of the Marikita braided with two skeins of the halo. And so we've got a bunch of different colorways. This one is Red Queen. So, and this looks like it's the candy apple with, is this the vintage, with the vintage pop. Look how pretty that is. So this is Red Queen. And then behind Red Queen, we have a potluck colorway. So and it's just like a red potluck colorway. And um, it's more like a coppery red, like a darker red, with sort of like this rusty halo. Although, is it similar? It's similar to the one that's the potluck colorway that we have on the hook, but different, browner. So this is the only potluck colorway we have in the in the Kindred Spirits. And it'll, I think this one just says potluck. And then next to these, we've got this Blood Moon, which is black Marikita with vintage pop. Look how cool that is. So if you're like, you're into like goth stuff or you wanna do like a dragon inspired thing, like this would be awesome. And it's so cool, it's very dramatic colorway. This would be like a really striking piece. And then we've got two of these. And then next to these, we have the Hibiscus, again, the Marikita and the Halo of the same colorway. I just love that. I just think it's so pretty. I know I'm partial. 
<laughs> don't let my opinion color your color choice. These two are Serengeti, which also is so pretty, you know, like it's these yellows and ochres and a little bit of brown. And again, like look how cool it is with the Marikita and the Halo, same colorway, but how different it looks, but how lovely together. And then these two are Atlantis. So Atlantis Marikita with Atlantis Halo. And then next to it, uh, we have Blue Lagoon, which looks like Kitty Pool. And I don't know, this is not, oh, I guess, is it Kitty Pool with Mosaic? That's what it looks like. And I believe there are two of, yes, we have two of these. Look how lovely. So yeah, so two things of the Halo and one thing of the Marikita. And together as the Kindred Spirit braid, they are only $54. So, and then next to this, we've got uh, Nebula. So we only have one of the Nebula. So it's Nebula Marikita, Nebula Halo. So when you do get the Kindred Spirit, it is less than purchasing two of these separately and one of these separately, because this is 26 and these each are 16. So 26 and 32 is more expensive than getting it like this. So you get a deal, which is cool. So, and then this one next to the nebula, this is Violet Veil. Oh, isn't that pretty? So this is like Crocus with Picasso. So lovely. And then next to Violet Veil, we have Blue Ridge, which looks like a carbonite with the Picasso. And that makes like a really interesting colorway. I guess the carbonite makes it kind of like smoky. And then lastly, but not least, we have the Carnival Kindred Spirits. And again, so one Marikita, two Halo. I know I said this over and over. So all together you get, um, so 257 times two plus the 400 yards here. So 257, so 514 plus 400. So you get 914 yards all together. So you can make like a really nice full, size shawl out of these. So look how pretty. And here we go. And that is all of our trunk show. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you've got questions, uh, send us an email, ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy stitching!